Cell phones are like an extra limb on most Americans' bodies. You take it everywhere you go. But does your use of cell phone mean you automatically give up certain privacy rights and give the government the ability to know where you are at all times? An appellate court ruling has just tackled all, all of that. RT Simone Del Rosario explains. Well, the defendant is hardly innocent. Aaron Graham, with the help of his sidekick, Eric Jordan, committed a string of armed robberies in Baltimore, Maryland. Now the two were arrested after robbing a McDonald's, but authorities, using more than seven months of cell phone site location information handed over by Sprint, connected Graham to several robberies in the area. Now this case is not about the crime they committed. It's about whether the government has the right to track your location using historical cell phone records without a warrant. A divided appellate court ruling said this ordering of extensive location information from a cell phone provider, in this case more than seven months of movement, violates a person's Fourth Amendment. The Fourth Amendment states the right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated. Now, the government argued the search falls under the third party doctrine that people who voluntarily give over information to a third party have no reasonable expectation of privacy. But the majority court opinion rejected that reasoning, saying people cannot be deemed to have volunteered to forfeit expectations of privacy by simply seeking active participation in society through the use of their cell phones. But as I've mentioned, this was a divided ruling, two to one, in the Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals. Now, dissenting Judge Deanna Motts wrote, Wrote, this was a clear case of third party doctrine and that you voluntarily release your location to your cell phone provider every time you make a phone call or text. Now, both sides agree that the vast amount of information ordered from Sprint in this case, more than seven months of cell phone records and spanning nearly 30,000 calls and texts, is a weighty privacy concern. And both agree on this. If interpretation of the Fourth Amendment is to change in either direction, more broad or more narrow, in the technological world we live in today, that decision should be left to the highest court in the land. In Washington, Simone Del Rosario, RT. I'm the leading state sponsor of terrorism.